Hi guys, today I'll be showing you the best way to convert or rip a movie DVD into various video formats using two apps. First is WinX DVD Ripper for Mac, and second, it's called Handbrake. We will also be doing a step by step comparison between these two apps to see which is better overall. So let's start with the basic question first. Why do we need to convert or rip a DVD? Well, there are many reasons for this, but I choose only two of them to mention. The very first and obvious reason is for sharing. With the two apps that I'm about to show you, you can convert a full-size 7 gigabyte DVD into a movie file which is about 3 gigabytes or less to share with friends and family. It's technically illegal if the cover of the DVD label copyrighted, but some people still do it anyways. But the second reason is similar to the first but for personal offline use while on the go. Of course you can stream movies online but sometimes you may want offline movies as well and this is one of the best ways to convert those movie DVDs for offline use on the go. Now let's compare side by side between the two apps WinX DVD Ripper and Handbrake. First, with WinX DVD Ripper, you can convert a DVD into tons of different formats. So you can see here, WinX DVD Ripper supports both physical DVD that you can insert through the DVD ROM or DVD image. Currently, my iMac does not have DVD ROM, so I would select image and I would find where I put my DVD file here. Click OK. Here, this part is the output profile. It shows you various formats that you can convert the DVD to. You see, you can convert to tons of different formats too. You can convert for Apple devices. You can convert for Android tablets, Android mobile, Microsoft device, Sony device, other devices. You are even able to convert to YouTube videos, Facebook, and so on. There are tons of formats you can convert it to. But with Handbrake, you can only convert a DVD into MP4 or MKV. Same thing if I add a DVD here. The format you choose, there's only two choices. Second, while Handbrake can only convert or rip a normal DVD, WinX DVD Ripper can convert a sophisticated D or M protected DVD like Disney DVDs. So Handbrake cannot handle the D or M protected DVDs. It can only convert the normal DVDs, but with WinX DVD Ripper, it can convert even the DVD with protected rights management. It's really awesome. Third, the conversion time of WinX DVD Ripper is much shorter than that of the Handbrake app. Usually with WinX DVD Ripper here, it takes less than an hour to convert a DVD, while with Handbrake here, it takes two hours or longer to convert. Fourth, WinX DVD Ripper looks much simpler and easier to use than Handbrake. So if you take a look at this side by side, so the features you can see at the top, it's simple, it's a disk, you can add a folder, you click here, or just add the DVD file, you click here, and clear an option, very simple. Everything is simple, you just add a DVD, choose the format you want to convert, click run, and it start converting. But with the handbrake here, you can see the look is quite complicated to understand. The way they design here, make it look very complicated to understand how to convert. I mean, for me, when I use this app for the first time, when I see this look, I feel like, how do I convert? The way they design is not really user friendly. Okay, now let me convert a DVD to show you an example. Don't worry, I will put it in a time lapse mode so that you don't have to wait for long. So let me add a DVD image here. Click OK. Now we choose the format. This is the recently used profile. So we just convert it to this. Click done. And remember to select the one that has the longest time. Usually the first one, the title one. This one, if you combine all the other parts together, see they say 2 hours 34 minutes 46 seconds. That's what you want to tick, but usually it automatically tick for you, so you don't have to worry about that. In here, you can even make some changes to it, what resolution you want. But by default, it will select the resolution for you, but if you don't like it, you can modify the resolution here. And before you start converting, there's one more thing that is very important. Make sure that you tick on the word safe mode to ensure that it would convert no matter what happens until the end. If you don't tick this, I already tried it. It converted only around 30 minutes and it stopped. But after you tick safe mode, it will convert the whole DVD non-stop until the end and you will get the full movie, which is two hours, 34 minutes, 46 seconds. Okay, just click run here. 
and wait for it to complete the conversion. And we fast forward the process. As you can see, the remaining time is only 19 minutes. So it's about 20 minutes to convert. It's very quick. Going back to our main question today, which app is better? I would leave it to you to decide. Okay, now it's done. It's right here. Now the file size is 3.17 gigabytes. For handbrake, for some reason I cannot get it to work on my Mac. It only converts about 30 seconds and then stop working. Okay, now let's talk about the prices of these two apps. As you may know that handbrake is a free app, but WinX DVD Ripper is a paid app. If you go to its website here, this is WinX DVD Ripper for Mac. It supports both Mac and Windows. So if you're using Windows, you can also download it from here. So if I click buy here, if you go through a normal link like this, it costs $47.95 for a lifetime license. But if you go through the link I have included in the description, it's right now it's a spring special offer 2019. A lifetime license costs only $29.95. And what's even better, as you can see, this app right now is running a giveaway promotion which will end in 14 days. This means that if you download it now, again through the links in the description, to this page, you will be able to get this app for free. So how do you do it? Simple, just click on get free here. So you start downloading. Just let it download. I already downloaded two times already. But there is something important that you have to take notes about this giveaway license as well. First, you must grab this app and activate the license code before the 1st of April 2019. As you can see at the top, it is only 14 days left. Which means if you want to get it for free, download it before the 1st of April and activate it immediately. Second, this giveaway license does not support updates. Which means if they have new versions of this app or any new features updated, you cannot update. If you want to update, you have to pay for the lifetime license. Third, the license code can only be activated once even on the same computer. So let's say you downloaded it and then you activate it on this computer. But then somehow you delete the app and then reinstall it. And then you want to use the same code to activate it again. For that you can't. Once the code is activated, it will be expired. You can only use it once even on the same computer. Apart from that, it's free. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.